Hello, people, and welcome very much to our monthly May desktop time. Uh, we know people are still logging in, so I'm going to um, sing a couple of songs while you are. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to sing. Misha actually said she was going to sing today, so we're going to hand over to her. I'm just kidding. Um, we do want to thank you all for joining us this month. Uh, we did have kind of a change of schedule, so this month is our Taste of Cubox, which we usually try not to talk too much about Cubox. We're really about letting people know about desktop resources and different applications that integrate with the QuickBooks desktop. Um, but today we are changing gears a little bit. We are going to be Cubox specific. Uh, Cubox, as you know, is the, is the company slash coral tree that sponsors desktop time each month. Um, but uh, ironically, I told this story last year. The only time I've ever received any chastisement about desktop time was last year when we had our first one. People said, hey, can you really stop talking about this Cubox thing? We already use it. We already like it. So we very intentionally do not talk about Cubox. But today, it's all about Cubox. So um, we're happy that you could join us today. We do have uh, a wonderful panel with us today. And uh, you can see most of them across the top of your screen. I do have an introduction. Um, we are going to do a little bit differently today, as I mentioned to them. Um, these are, of course, all very credentialed people with lots of experience. And so rather than spend the next hour just talking about how credentialed and wonderful they all are, I'm just going to do a quick introduction. I'm also going to mention when they started using Qbox. So, uh, and then we'll go into some discussion about their experiences with using Qbox and different clients. And we're going to finish today with um, Mr. T.S. Srinivasan, who you can see there on your screen, uh, sharing with us about some of the future things that we're going to implement with Qbox and also other resources that Coral Tree is now offering. So with that being said, um, I already mentioned TSU. Uh, very briefly, TS was actually part of the original team that started Coral Tree. Uh, and Qbox was birthed about 2011, 2012. Uh, but Qbox, TS has been with Qbox since the beginning. Um, we also have Brandon Morris with us. Brandon, I see you there. <laughs> uh, Brandon started using Qbox back in February of 2015, and he's part of Barron's Inc. Uh, we also have Misha Paris with us today, who most of you know. And she's been using Qbox since June of 2014. And she is, I don't know, what exactly is your title at the Paris Company? Are you president? Are you the Grand Poobah? Are you? I am the president. The president, okay. I, I, am, the, I am the president and selfie queen of the company. Okay. So we'll call you the, the, the very first lady of, of Paris Company then. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, Nancy Gomez with us today, who began using Qbox back in June of 2014. And she is part of Bottom Line out of Santa Barbara. Yep. One of my favorite places in the whole world. Um, if you ever get a chance, go to Santa Barbara. It's beautiful. And uh, we'll let Nancy talk to you about her expertise there. <laughs> uh, we're joined also by Yvette Shaw from YMS Bookkeeping. And she started using Qbox in September of 2014. Welcome, Yvette. It's good to have you back. And we also have... Gina Rodkey from Gina's Internet Advising. I always want to say, uh, I always want to mispronounce that. And she started using it in January of 2015, started using Qbox, and she's a specialist in virtual bookkeeping. And last but not least, we also have Liz Williams with us today, who started using Qbox in November of 2014. And she, uh, and I don't know, can I call you president also of Williams? Absolutely. Okay, the president. So we have two president things. <laughs> yeah. okay, and the flunky. I'm the flunky of the group, they're the president. So, um, anyways, welcome to all of you today. We do want to thank you again. We know um, you're all very busy, although tax season's over, so you, you're probably like golfing and hanging out and doing fun stuff now. Right? Sure. It's slow now the rest of the year, so. Okay, you can get in with that later. Um, so we did want to start off with some questions, and, and hopefully today, again, we just want to hear about your individual experience using Qbox, how, it's, uh, how you've utilized it in your own practice, um, you know, just some of the functions that you have found to be beneficial in interacting with clients. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump to question two, actually, and, and I'm going to just throw it out to the group and answer as you feel comfortable. Um, so the first question was, were, were you previously using any other resource to support desktop clients prior to Qbox? I was using the accountant's copy, not fun, 
I'm glad you said that. <laughs> and I, uh, are you done? I, and I was using um, hosting providers, and uh, that wasn't working too well. Okay. So what, what um, specifically you say not working too well, I'll put you on the spot, Yvette. Um, okay. what, what were some of the challenges you experienced with? I think my biggest challenge was um, they were having too, many, too much downtime. I had a major client of mine a couple of years back, and they would run their payroll because they had um, Quick, QuickBooks um, desktop payroll. And they couldn't run their payroll for two or three days because they had downtime. And it was just nerve-wracking. Uh, my client was very upset. Um, they ended up uh, firing the hosting provider. Um, it's just a lot of times, I mean, sometimes they work fine. And then when they don't work, they really don't work. And it was just kind of me in a really bad situation because I also was the one that recommended this hosting provider. Okay. So I just um, am thankful that uh, there is QBox because it made my life so much better. Okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, it's interesting. We, um, of course, are, are told by a lot of folks how much they love different SaaS options and hosted. And so uh, with QBox, what's unique is if your internet goes down, so what? Keep working. Um, the only thing you, of course, lose is the ability to sync those updates between the users and release the lock. Um, but essentially, your communication goes back to old school email, telephone. Hey, I'm going to be working on the file. Stay out of it today. But you still have the file. You still can work it. So that's kind of a, a difference between us and anything running in the cloud. So. And the terrible thing about that situation was we couldn't get into, we couldn't mm -hmm. access the, the file, nor could we get a backup from okay. them. Mm. Horrible! It was so stressful. I never want to go through that again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sorry you had that experience. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but we're glad you're using QBox now. So. <laughs> right. Anybody else have some experience they want to share what they were using previous to QBox for desktop sharing? I was using um, Dropbox, and I I was in it one time, and I'm like, why don't you have my edits? <laughs> and then. <laughs> Then I realized that I wasn't getting hers, and then we realized there was 15 or 20 conflicted copies. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? And then um, I think it was Gina Rodkey who did, uh, um, during her happy hour, she did a, you did, you actually, Chris came in and did a demo of Qbox. And I said, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and I fell in love, and I've been using it ever since. And we haven't had any issues at all. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. And I, and, and by the way, too, I and I've talked to people a lot about this the last few weeks. But in this journey of QBox, uh, there's been so many just really cool, significant points. And one of them very much was the Hangouts. And uh, I've done a couple of Hangouts actually with Gina, and um, they they were awesome. They were a great experience for us to just get more exposure to QBox and and to meet people like Misha and just introduce them to something different from that traditional file sharing. Because um, I, I always share this quote, um, and it's from Seth David, if he's watching. Uh, <laughs> basically, he said at one point, okay, so the, the conflicted copy drives people bananas. I mean, they'll come to us saying, oh, I'm so sick of trying to figure out which one everyone worked on. But as he states also, when you use a traditional file sharing resource, it syncs a file that's active, which is no-no. Um, in the world of, of database type files like QuickBooks. So he said, it's like getting on the freeway with no brakes. It's probably going to be okay for a while, but eventually you're going to have to stop. And so <laughs> when it happens, you're not going to be too happy about it. So I, I would, that always stuck in my head. I like that one. So, But usually we have people coming to us because they've experienced challenges with conflicted copies. So um, thank you very much, Misha. Uh, anybody else? Uh, any previous um, tools. I would like to just add something. Um, you know, Yvette had mentioned you know, working with uh, hosting companies, and we sure have had our share with working with a few of them that we had recommended to clients, and it didn't work out because the level of tech support isn't necessarily what, you know, each of us panelists are used to offering our clients. We're used to offering a lot more. And that was, you know, obviously besides the abilities that QBox offers for our QuickBooks files, I was extremely impressed and I'm appreciative of the level of tech support that QBox offers uh, for 
for my firm, for myself, and especially for my clients. And so I find that we can work more efficiently on the things that we more so enjoy doing, and we can refer the tech support calls to the fine folks there at QBox. Well, thank you very much. That's all, you know, it's funny, that, that, that's kind of one of my things. I mean, I, I used to be a guy that was more out working with clients, but at the very least, you want clients to know that you got their back. If the product doesn't work, because the reality is, things happen. Uh, but, but people tell us all the time, in fact, um, I guess I can say this, but uh, we even have certain other vendors that their customers will call us and say, well, I know this isn't your issue, but their support sucks, and I'm on hold for an hour. We figured we'd call you because we get a live person. So. We normally get those phone calls, but that's nice to hear that you're getting them too. Yeah, yeah exactly. we do what we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you guys probably do also. So. And T.S., he's always so great. The times, the few times I've called, T.S. is on top of it. He's just wonderful. I'm, I've never had a bad situation with Qbox. Oh, thank, yeah. thank you very much for saying that. I don't, there he is. Did you hear that, T.S.? Yes, T.S., we love you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But you know that. So, so, cool. so I want to say. Mad, I say this. He doesn't know I have to. We love you too, Allison. Kicking and screaming, but but he is the backbone. Everybody loves TS. So I'm bringing yeah. him out into the public. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to say that I did one time. The closest thing that I had to a problem with QBox was I had a client that QBox just disappeared off of their computer. Completely disappeared off of it. Okay. Um, called TS and we were able to reinstall QBox and got the data file up. It was so simple, so easy, no problem. I mean, I just never experienced that with any other software. Well, thank you very much. Again, we, we like to think we're bulletproof. I mean, I always tell people that uh, we, as of today, I looked this morning, we're at just about 26 and a half thousand users and still a busy support day for us is maybe, you know, 20 to 30 calls. Um, so, you know, the product runs pretty well, but again, it's not bulletproof, things happen. Uh, we always try to encourage people, if you have any frustration or something that happens, um, you can't get to a file or something seems like it's not syncing, we'd rather you, you know, give us a call or chat with us. So. We can. It's easier to resolve problems early on than you know before they become much bigger problems. So thank you for for sharing that. We appreciate and uh, it. it generally tends to be not QBox itself, but something else that's on yeah. your computer that is right. that's conflicting. Right. Yeah, that that and people end up um, logging sure. off before it's totally synced. Yeah. Yes. So you got to make sure that you sync it completely before you turn off your computer. Yep. Yes. I want to say that's generally my only problem. If my client is in there and she does her thing and she gets out and for whatever reason she shuts down the computer before and then I'm like, oh, I can't get in. And I know I don't want to release it myself because I don't know if it if she was working or she just was printing or, you know. Right. So I always connect with her. I'm like, hey, can you get out? And then she's like, oh, I thought I did it. So then she has to get you know, just to go in and, and close it. But literally, that is the only problem I ever, I, I generally ever have mm -hmm. um, okay. with, with using yeah. it. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, I, I jokingly used to call that Friday afternoon syndrome where people slam their laptop shut and they go home. Oh, what are they thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but again, if, if they can give us a call, you know, right when they experience the frustration, we'd love to help them out. So thank you again for, for bringing that up. Um, in, any other comments or questions? I just wanted to add one last thing. Um, I really enjoy the part of my business where I can travel with QBox. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. definitely with just having internet access, consistent internet access, or even, as you say, if the internet goes out, you do your work, and then you sync up the next time you get internet. Mm -hmm. I've been so grateful to be able to travel in different parts of the U.S. as well as in Europe. And mm -hmm. no functionality issues with QBox in Europe or U.S. We've got to hear that. That's, thank you. Yeah, and that, that's, again, I, I mean, we've had, uh, it's interesting, I've been here like TS since day one at QBox, and uh, we've had, I think, three situations now where our company that, that hosts our data in the cloud had issues. It wasn't us, but it, and it was thankfully a short interval of time, but, you know, when someone calls, you'd say, well, 
work on the file. I mean, I know what to tell you. It's not working. It will be back shortly, but oh, by the way, you can work. Oh, I can. I can work on the file. So, yeah. so that, that'll always be kind of a feather in our cap that, that people won't be dead in the water. They can't, you know, like, like Yvette was mentioning, they're not precluded from getting the file at all. They still have yeah, the file. Still exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Okay, well, let's jump into the next question. So how has QBox worked differently from other resources? I think we kind of touched on it. Um, let me go to the next one. Do you have any unique client situations where QBox has been able to resolve a collaboration issue? So uh, that's kind of a broad question, but maybe something unique where people were having challenges, maybe because they had poor internet, maybe because they had specific needs based on their business type. But if you had any experience where QBox was just an obvious fit as opposed to an alternative SaaS or hosted? Well, for one thing, um, it's extremely affordable QBox. Um, when I present QBox to my clients, like I've had some that are hosted mm -hmm. and they're always having issues. And then when I introduce them to QBox, they're like, after they've used it, they said, why didn't, we're, how, how come nobody has heard of QBox before? <laughs> so, and I said, yeah, I know it's, it's one of those things, but it's, it's wonderful. And they love it. Once I get them on it and they try it, they just, there's, I mean, I just really enjoy it just because it's so constant, you know, mm -hmm. there's no, really not too many hiccups. And usually when there are hiccups, it's something on either our end or the clients and not QBox, like, like I said, you know, like not signing off before it's completely synced, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just so simple. It's even for me um, to bring a client onto the QBox environment, getting their file there, it's, it's pretty easy, you know, after I've done so many now that it's, it's easy and it's so user friendly. I love the fact that also we can use, have files you know, that we could store there on mm -hmm. QBox. And so my clients, I've never had a client tell me I want to use something else other than QBox, the ones that are on there. And it's just, uh, it's really, it's really added to my practice. It's, it's a no-brainer for, for us, for our desktop clients. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Matt. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a client <clears throat> that there's the owner there's the manager and there's the bookkeeper. They all had their own desktops. The manager and uh, the owner had their own laptops that they worked at home and they were passing around backup copies. Oh no. And, and I know. How confusing is that? <laughs> Who's on first, right? No. <laughs> that was collective pain I saw in all of your faces. <laughs> right, right, right. You don't want to talk back, back in the day when we all <laughs> exactly. go back and grab screen We all used to do that, I'm sure. So I put them oh, on yeah. QBox. The owner only has view rights. He can look at Q anything he wants in QuickBooks when he's in the office, when he's at home. The same for the manager. While she's in the office, she's just running reports. So she's in the view only mode and she can do whatever she needs to do while the bookkeeper is actually doing the work. Okay. Um, and, and the manager would sometimes actually go into QuickBooks at home on her laptop. So there was never a problem with timing and the syncing, it just worked beautifully for them. Excellent. And me too, because I was also allowed into that file and anytime they had any questions, I could pop right into their system, see exactly what they were talking about. And I'll yes. tell you, when you're supporting clients, sometimes seeing what they're talking about really says a whole lot. Really, really helps you out. Yes. Exactly. So Chris, I'll say in, in our area, you know, in Arkansas and even lower Alabama where I'm at, uh, internet access is not great it's not stable where it is in, in some of the other areas so downtown where i'm at is great but the clients that i've got that are out internet goes down a lot and this solves it it comes back up style sync they can do their work when it if they go down it's fine if when it comes back up it sinks just like you've already said that's the huge pain point that we've solved and not even for, just for our customers but the uh, cpa firms uh, some of the bookkeepers that are do, working with CPA firms, every time they get a new client, they say, Brandon, 
install QBox on, uh, that's, that's our first, f first phone call is, I want them on QBox. So you make that happen. So it's not just that I'm consulting with these clients, is I've got bookkeepers calling me to put them on QBox. So it, but it, it solves the pain point of unreliable internet. Okay. And, uh, so yeah, it's perfect. Oh, excellent. Thank you for that. Yeah, we, we get a, it's interesting, these groups that kind of evolved since we released Keybox, and that definitely is one of them. We have people, even they'll come up to us at conferences and say, you know, I, I'm out in, in, you know, the boonies somewhere, some rural area, and I have satellite, I have to rely on which is spotty or whatever my provider is. And so Qbox, at least while they're working in the file, it's local, as you know. So, uh, so that, that's, that's become a, a user group of ours that, that tends to really like how Qbox functions. So thank you for that. Another thing, um, Chris, too, is what I love is that there's rollbacks. So there's copies that are being, you know, stored. And so I had a situation once where I had to roll back to the previous um, sync. And um, it was so easy. TS helped me. I called in and he told me, oh, no problem. You know, just go in and he showed me. And it's so easy. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's a great yeah, feature. Thank you. Yeah, that's I, I'm sorry. I love the backup function on Qbox. I have a client that actually outgrew me mm -hmm. and went further, to, you know, to another bookkeeper, but kept Qbox and kept me on there just mm -hmm. because it has the backups. And it's okay. so reasonably priced that they said for, for, you know, their own security and peace of mind, they were going to keep it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. We, we talk a lot about the collaboration part of Qbox, but uh, so many times people don't even realize their files are backed up in the cloud. They do have rollback capability. Uh, we even, one functionality was hoping to mention today is that um, as of about a year and a half ago, we also have now something that TS and the engineers created where even if we have that good old loop, loops factor where someone didn't lock the file and they still worked in it, Qbox actually now when it syncs an update to a user, it does a quick spot check and if it doesn't match what's on their current computer, it creates a recovery copy local on their system. So we have a lot of very happy people that call us and, you know, of course they don't want to admit they didn't lock it, and, okay. but we say, hey, don't worry about it, we've got something that's going to help you out. And um, they're extremely happy when they've worked for four hours, they forgot to lock it, and they were going to lose yeah. the work otherwise. So, so yeah, all those, you know, additional features are kind of built into a product that's designed for collaboration, but is incredibly affordable. In some cases, it's the same price as what they're paying for their backup solution, but they're not getting the collaboration. So, so thank you for sharing that. I think I cut someone else off. No? Okay. So next question is, um, and I think some of these we've been kind of touching on as we go, but um, how do your clients like Qbox? Do you get feedback from them and their, um, you know, I, I know it seems to work very well for all of you as financial professionals, but do you also hear from clients that they like some facet of it or the simplicity or the pricing or are there certain things you hear from them that they like most about Qbox? All of the above. <laughs> and they like the ease of use and how yeah. easy it is for them to access their file. Like I had this client that she did not want to go on a hosted environment um, and uh, I didn't want to, she wanted to send me over her file, you know, just back it up and send it to me, and I don't like doing that, so, you know, I said, you know, we'll get you on Qbox, and she's been on it, I guess, for two and a half years, and she loves it, she always tells me, and when she travels, she could take her laptop hmm. and use it wherever she goes. Okay, excellent. Anybody else have something specific the clients mentioned to you, the functionality they like most about Qbox, or... Chris, for me, it's not just about the customers love it, but I've pivoted. So our company started back in 2002, and that's what we did was client consulting, mm -hmm. training, consulting. Uh, we do a lot more sales now as an IRP, but we do we sell QBox. So when we're if we we sell a lot of times, I'll get a call. Somebody wants QuickBooks Online, but they want desktop functionality. Uh, it's a it's an automatic. Qbox sale. Right. So uh, right. even if it's a customer that I'm not going to consult on, I'll just sell the product, but I also sell Qbox as an attachment with it, and then I send them off to their bookkeeper or to their right. CPA. 
And then you have to teach the bookkeeper. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, uh, I don't even, the bookkeepers love it. They don't even want to learn it. They just want to give it to me. Uh, here, set them up with QBox and invite me into it. And that's, so I'm just the go-between between all of them. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, the, it's the customers, it's the bookkeepers, the CPAs, the wives, <laughs> or the hosts. <laughs> because they, they have access to it because, uh, their, their counterparts not doing with uh, what they're doing. So it's uh, everybody loves it. Okay, thank you. Definitely. Well, it's a requirement for me now at this point. If I'm going to work with you and you're on desktop, I need QBox, just like that. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, great. Thank you very much for that. Um, another question that someone already touched on, have you had any client situations where they've taken advantage, the clients of some of the unique um, features, such as the rollback functionality? I know, Yvette, you mentioned the story where, um, and it's interesting, the, the rollback, I always like to share this with a giggle. Um, one of the biggest use cases for rollbacks is where a financial professional accidentally upgrades a client's file to a newer version. And they're busy and they click the yes button and and, and, and I don't like that very much. <laughs> they assume someone's trying to sell them a new version of the software. So um, they're very relieved to hear we can roll back to their, you know, them upgrading the file. So uh -huh. uh, any other situations you've experienced um, in utilizing those functions? Linda Russell uses rollback when she's trying to import things and they go wrong or trying to, you know, trying a new app and trying to bring stuff mm -hmm. in and it just doesn't work right. She has that rollback as, as backup for her and, and has said that she has often used that. Okay, excellent. Anybody else? Okay, so kind of our, our, our wrap up question and we'll turn the floor over to TS. Um, so if you, and, and thank you again for all of your feedback today and I think some of them kind of dovetail in the next questions, but uh, if, if you were sitting with another financial professional now, um, what would you tell them about QBox? And again, I appreciate all the comments so far, but is there something you would tell them, you know, this is why you should consider it or utilize it? Is it uh, would it be the cost factor? Would it be the you know the functionality? You know what what would be something you present to another financial professional if they happen to be joining us today listening? Um, well, one of the things was is a few a while back I ran into somebody that um, has a bookkeeping practice and we were talking, and uh, she was telling me, yeah, I'm having such a hard time because a lot of my clients like to pass the file back you know, send it to me, email, you know, that same. And she asked me, um, you know, do you have that same situation? I said, no, you got to use QBox. She's like, what is QBox? And so I told her about it. And um, I said, you know, she still didn't get it. So I said, why don't you call me in a, in a couple of days and I'll show you. You can remote into my computer. I'll, you know, we'll do a Zoom session. And I showed her and she was like, wow how come we don't know about this? You know, that's the thing that a lot of people don't know about QBox. And so she immediately, she told me, I put her in touch with your office and um, I guess she's been on it and she really loves it. And so what I tell most accounting professionals that deal with the desktop, I tell them you, you should definitely be using QBox. It's a tool that I can't do, my practice can't do without. Exactly. If, if you're using the desktop, QBox, it's, it's like, I hate saying it, but it is a no-brainer. It's hands down. It's the best thing for desktop. Mm -hmm. What I love about it is you can have multiple users, you know, that have their own computers, have their own licenses on those computers to be able to work on there. And what I love about it is there's times where I have a client that's working on the file and they um, have a question about some of the reports. So even though they're working on the report, because they're, I mean, they're working on the file and they have it locked, I can still access those reports. You know, I don't have to wait till they get off. I just can't, you know, lock it. I can't make any changes, and I'm able to pull up anything, whether it's an invoice, whether it's a bill, whether it's a report of some sort. It's so easy. I love it. Thank you for whoever created QBox. Is it TS? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It's that real I'll let him answer that question. It's someone close to TS. Who is it? <laughs> yes, are you Chris still there? Did it. Chris did it. 
No, uh, no, it wasn't me either. I used to think it was I'm you. I'm not that smart. Yeah, yeah start talking to TS. <laughs> you know, when I call over there. But yeah, it's a great, I love Qbox. Well, thank you. I, I, I truly enjoy using it because the ex if you have ever experienced conflicting copies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it. I, I don't even. I, I'm speechless. I was speechless when I fixed the problem. Like, I was like, "What? This can do this and that and what?" And I, I mean, I was laughing. I was happy. I was smiling. And when I introduced it to my client, and she knows how giddy I get when I find an app that like changes my life. She was. She was like, "Oh my God! Look at you!" <laughs> you know, and I, it's happened with some other, you know, over the couple of, you know, I've been with her for five years, and we introduced QBox in June of 2014, and we've been using it ever since, and it's just been, it's been phenomenal. We've tried using it with some other stuff, but we had an issue with some Microsoft stuff, but okay. we found something else, but um, I, I just can't even, I gush about it all the time. I, I blush it when I talk about cube. <laughs> it, it's funny because it, just like Misha, my former life, I was a paramedic for 12 years, and my favorite call was uh, uh, diabetic problems. You go with somebody with low blood sugar, you, you come in, you give them some, uh, some sugar, sugar water, orange juice, whatever, and in five minutes, uh, they're back to their old self, you sign, you sign a no haul and you go home, you're the hero. The uh, hero syndrome. The same thing applies here is uh -huh. definitely these, these people have, have problems and you walk in and say, look, here's QBox. It, it, it does all of these things. It's not just a backup, but you got rollback features. You got the, 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 the sharing problem. It's all of those things all wrapped up into one and I leave the hero. And that's, uh, they automatically, man, where were you all of these years? Uh -huh. That's the yep. same thing I think about QBox is you've yep. given us the tools to take to our customers, and, uh, and it sure. makes us the hero when we leave. That actually gives me an idea for our next swag, QBox, the paramedic of the financial industry. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know, the other thing I want to say is every time that I had to deal with anyone at QBox, I love their service, their customer support. It's outstanding. Um, from Chris to TS uh, to Allison, um, just a wonderful group of people, and I'm so glad that I am part of the QBox team, you know, that I, our company is really, you know, involved with QBox, using them as a tool for our practice. And thank you, Chris, because you're always so wonderful. Every time I, I run into you or talk with you, you're always so kind, and always all of you are eager to help us out. So if my wife is watching this now, she's probably shaking her head no. You know, <laughs> no. I don't know who yeah, you're talking yeah. about. No. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I don't much know what you play that. about us off, offline. You get off the phone with me and say, what is he thinking? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's me. You want to say thank you very much again. Yeah. I, I'll tell you, it's funny. I, I can say this. I um, for for I consider this cue box to be very much of a journey, and it's been enjoyable. We've had amazing people um, that we've worked with, getting to know you know all of you. Although some of you I haven't met in person yet, but I think I maybe will when we're at Account Text this year. Um, but uh, it's just it's been an incredible journey. You've all been part of us growing this product. We we haven't always had the you know, a of dollars for marketing. So, you know, it's, it's always a double-edged sword to hear from people. You know, gosh, this is a great product, but where have you been? You know, so, um, but we're, we're more excited to hear about it's a great product and we're trying to work more on uh, getting, you know, the word out to people what it's about. But you've all been a part of that. We really appreciate it. So, so thank you for that. Um, so that, that actually was my, my wrap-up question. And, and again, thank you very much for all of your feedback today. Uh, a couple other things I was going to mention uh, before we hand the floor over to TS. Uh, we do want to let everyone know again that we will be at Scaling New Heights next month in beautiful downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Not quite Disney World, but uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we will also be at Account Text this year in August uh, in Boston, and we will also be 
Uh, I was I was laughing a bit as you were talking. I think we're the only Bay Area people here, so yeah, probably in sunny San Jose. Not a whole lot to see or do here, but we're close to things that are interesting. <laughs> so uh, if you happen to come to QB Connect, we really hope you take some uh, some time and stop by and say hello to us. So. Uh, anyways, thank you very much again. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn the flow over to TS. Are you still there, TS? Do you hear us? Are you there, TS? Muted. You're muted. You're muted, TS. You have to unmute yourself. So while he's unmuting, I'm going to say what Linda said. Okay. Um, there was a time when the internet went down for eight hours because of Google or Amazon. Qbox was the only software that communicated there was a problem and that it was being worked on. Oh, thank you for saying that. Yeah, we're always that's always a little challenging when we you know we had had server issues with Amazon. We we try to get the word out, um, but but thank you for saying that. We did have the the one catas uh, catastrophe recently where a lot of big sites were were affected by it, and so. Um, I don't think necessarily everyone realized what was happening right away, but kind of thankfully for us, people still have the ability to work on their files. So I think TS is unmuted. I think Allison ran down the hall to tell him. Um, but, can you hear uh, me now? Good. So TS, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm using my phone call because this, uh, computer audio was very, very garbled. Um, thank you very much, Chris. And um, I want to thank all the panelists for the nice words about QBox. Um, and Chris has been so humble throughout this discussion, but uh, we, uh, as you can realize that the QBox features are developed um, and it's precisely for the requirements of uh, all the accounting accountants, right? So me and Chris and, um, and later on Alison, when we uh, started working on this product, right, we met with so many CPAs uh, personally uh, particularly in the Bay Area and also over phone call um, uh, to make sure that we are building features that is going to be used and it's going to be um, important for, um, for QuickBooks users and uh, you will now you know all, all the features that you uh, mentioned have been designed uh, as what we call in marketing outside in I mean these are not uh, inside out designs these are outside in meaning get the customer feedback, make sure that we're building features that customers want to use and expect to use without just throwing things in the product and they, that may never get used, right? So uh, we are very thankful for, uh, for the feedback that we have been receiving from the customers. Many of them through support calls, um, we wanted to stay, with, uh, stay in touch with the customers, listen to them, and uh, we have been over a period of time building features that uh, adding features that are uh, used uh, more and more. Um, we also continue to improve the product performance uh, as you see uh, as you will see as we release more and more clients you will find that QBox uh, performance is continuously improving and uh, that's part of the uh, plan as well. And I also want to talk about some of the features we'll be adding in the near future. Um, for example, we are going to bring in uh, enterprise-like flavor to the QBox product. Uh, what this means is that uh, larger customers with uh, a separate IT department can you uh, can um, can give the responsibility of uh, setting up QBox and managing QBox users for their company uh, to their IT people. So this is how large enterprises uh, use their software. So there's a separate IT admins for the product. They can install QBox and manage it for their customers. So you will see this added uh, to the QBox product. It will be called QBox Enterprise. Uh, uh, we're also bringing other products that will support other desktop applications. Like uh, for the CAD world, uh, we are introducing a product called CAD Box. So this is going to support uh, uh, Autodesk products like Revit LT and then AutoCAD LT. It will also support uh, a few other uh, CADs like uh, SolidWorks, uh, SketchUp and uh, the Chief Architect and other such products. 
and we will uh, we are identifying other desktop products uh, in the CAD, CAD space for inclusion into this CAD box. Basically, uh, desktop applications like QuickBooks, uh, all this CAD CAD software, they are very very desktop CPU and disk uh, in intensive, and uh, performance degrades when they move it to the cloud. So we want to uh, keep them on the desktop and also bring in the feature for collaborating with any number of users uh, using this Qbox-like um, uh, products called CatBox. Uh, we will also be introducing a product called MSBox that is for Microsoft Office products. Uh, it's uh, a lot of people have uh, Office product collaboration and we also want to introduce Office product collaboration with the lock and syncing mechanism. So a yeah, simple Word user, uh, Excel user, PowerPoint, or Microsoft projects, they can all use uh, the locking and syncing mechanism using MS Box uh, or the MS Box Enterprise. Um, so if you have any questions on these products, please, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, uh, text us, uh, send an email. Uh, and if you think that any desktop application that needs uh, collaboration, the, the requirement for QBox is, I mean, the QBox is serving the desktop applications that need uh, collaboration. So if you think that there is some desktop application out there that you use and could be uh, benefited by this real-time collaboration, uh, please send it to us. And we always uh, pass it on to our engineering for consideration. Uh, with that, I want to segue into another product that we will be introducing. It's called uh, CT60. This is actually a, a little bit outside of the QBox uh, desktop file sharing um, uh, area. It is meant for consultants, right? So if you are a specialist offering um, and can offer consulting work in the uh, in the accounting or taxes, uh, if you have QuickBooks expertise, many of you are real uh, QuickBooks uh, experts, uh, you can use CT60 to offer your consulting services to clients. So right now we are going to offer it uh, only for QBox users. So if you are a QBox user and you want to sign up as a consultant uh, on, on CT60, you can enter your profile and um, register yourself. And what CT60 does is it enables clients um, actually anywhere in the world to find you through a simple search mechanism. And they can then start uh, entering into a dialogue with you. Uh, the first version of the product that we introduce will um, facilitate basic communication. But we do intend to um, uh, improve, uh, add more and more features to the CT60 product. Uh, to make it the complete consulting platform for professionals. Uh, it will handle agreements, it will have uh, your workflow for uh, purchase order uh, approvals, it will have the payment, uh, engine mechanism, etc. So all this will be included as we, uh, as after we introduce the product. So we uh, look for an announcement on CT60 in, in the next few weeks. And uh, like I said, it will be initially available for uh, the QBox uh, users, and then later on, we'll figure out a way to make it a general um, general offering. Um, with that, I think I come to I have, I have covered all the points that I wanted to cover. So, Chris, if you have any questions, I can go through that specifically. Well, actually, I would, the only other question I was putting on the spot. Someone asked where the QBox concept came from, and I didn't know if I should answer. Or I don't know if you want to answer that. <laughs> uh, QBox concept, we, uh, we, we were at a local uh, large accounting firm and um, um, they were uh, early on, right, one of the users mentioned that, look, uh, it actually came from a customer. So um, like I said, it is an outside in idea. Uh, one of the customers told us, look, we are struggling with Dropbox here, right? We cannot share the files to Dropbox because of all the conflictive copies. And they mentioned uh, 
file correction as well. I'm, I'm not sure if that is really true for Dropbox. Uh, uh, I don't believe Dropbox corrupts files, but it does create uh, conflicted copies. And um, uh, why don't you guys design something like Dropbox, right? <laughs> so I don't remember the context in which the idea came up, but it was, it was an idea that came from one of the large accounting companies. Chris, you, you can go ahead and add to that. Okay. No, I, I, I mean, I, yeah. Um, so, and actually, for those of you that aren't familiar with kind of the, the early um, start of Coral Tree, there was a, another product that I was trying to remember the other day that was actually more similar to like a SaaS based option where people could log into a, a cloud portal and make edits, and those edits would sync down to each user's copy via the, the Intuit web connector. And for a couple of reasons, that was not a, a really successful product that didn't match the need that we heard desktop people expressing. So as TS mentioned, um, I thought you might mention um, your son, but um, uh, so we, we, we kind of, they came up with an idea or a product that would match more of uh, the ability to actually share the active file. Um, what was collaboration isn't actually bouncing a file, it's collaboration, so it's syncing updates to individual files. So, like when we talked about uh, the issue with conflicted copies, uh, and someone actually asked the question earlier, um, Qbox, every Qbox user has an individual instance of the file in their local um, environment in a directory that they instruct Qbox where they want the directory to reside. And so um, they're always opening that same instance, and that same instance is being updated by Qbox, predicated on any updates other users make. So, uh, so again, everyone's working on the same instance of the file. We do keep uh, an, we do keep 20 instances of the file in the cloud. So if they do need to roll back, we do have the ability to retrieve those previous updates or instances from the cloud. But otherwise, each user has their their current active instance of the file always readily available to them. And someone had asked the question, and I think Allison responded to them, but um, the, the, the Qbox Explorer, which when you install the client, that's our, I always call it our shortcut window, uh, it gives you all of the messaging, it gives them the lock messaging, it gives you the complete roster of any folders and files that you're sharing. Um, but you don't have to open the file from that location. We, we definitely recommend it because it at least assures that you're always opening the right instance of the file. But we do have financial professionals that have multiple clients that are sharing through Qbox that are in one version of QuickBooks. So it's just more um, user friendly for them to have that instance of QuickBooks open, do the open company file and point it to that location, which is the Qbox directory. So. For, for the majority of our folks, though, we do recommend that they initiate the file from the QBox Explorer. That just, again, always ensures you're in the right instance of the file. But if nothing else, as we tell people, if you're not getting a lock request, something's wrong. Either QBox isn't working or you're in the wrong instance of the file, and it's time to call TS. <laughs> so, just kidding. Time to call support, and someone here will help you. So, uh, thank you very much, TS, for sharing. Uh, they, one of the, the visions of the, the founders of Coral Tree was that they would have more applications that were, uh, sorry, they had more collaboration tools that were application specific. So um, Qbox, you know, has, has really been kind of the heart and soul of Coral Tree um, just because we found the spot where there was a large group of folks that were looking for a better way to share that particular type of file. But now, uh, with the initiation of CADBOX, for example, that's another space where we found a group of folks that, that have a desktop instance of a file, they just want to share edits and updates with some number of remote users and they don't have a, a, a practical way to do that. So CADBOX, very much like Qbox, is now available to that industry, which is the architectural builders, um, and we're, we're finding how much larger that space is also, inspectors, um, appraisers, there's just a large group of folks that need to access those files regularly. So, so that that's the new CAD boxes filling and MS box and um, and the CT60 kind of a different animal. Um, we've been talking with some of our resellers already about that functionality. Um, so it's going to provide the ability to have uh, direct interaction with someone that you're providing consulting work for. Uh, and can offer different services too. And that's something that will also, as TS mentioned, be expanding over time the capabilities of that particular product. So uh, 
So again, we, we do thank you very much though. Obviously today the, the primary uh, focus of our discussion is QBox and uh, QBox again is a product that we've found uh, has really served a need. For, and all the things you mentioned today are things we hear from people on a regular basis that they're excited they have something that keeps them on the desktop. They're excited they have something that deals with their you know mediocre internet. We have a point of sale user group that basically want to keep using their point of sale system integrate with their local QuickBooks desktop file, but oh, by the way, Joe Owner walks, wants to work from home from time to time, or oh, by the way, they want to share those updates with a financial professional. So uh, we continue to find and hear about different unique use cases for QBox, and, and that, of course, makes us feel good because we know we're filling other niches for people. So, um, But thank you very much again to our panel today. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any other uh, closing comments or thoughts they want to share with us about their experience with QBox or anything else, family pictures, seeing their favorite song. <laughs> There's just one thing that I wanted to add. Um, I, I'm, I'm grateful to have your level of tech support, not just for my clients, but sometimes we have accounting professionals that they're so busy with handling their tax returns or tax firms that I've helped out from time to time. Um, it just helps for them to get on board, um, not necessarily with with handling the QuickBooks function uh, or the QuickBooks job of what most of us do during the day, but more so so they can pull reports on their own from that client's uh, QuickBooks file through QBox. I have found that accounting professionals in my demographic area um, really look forward to uh, getting educated on the things that QBox has to offer. So I look forward to not just training my clients, but also cross-training accounting professionals just with the QBox function. Oh, thank you very much for sharing that. Thank you. Anybody else before we head into the home stretch here? Okay, well, thank, thank you very much again to all of you. Again, we, we first appreciate you most as users of QBox and, and evangelists, I guess we would say, and sharing with other people how it's worked for you and recommending it to other folks. Again, you, you've been kind of the backbone of QBox um, and continue to be and just sharing about um, how it works and the functionalities with other financial professionals. So thank you very much. Um, desktop time, back to today's webinar. Um, we will be back next month again. Uh, we're going to add something a little bit different next month. We're going to be communicating by email to all the registered guests of desktop time, um, which as of today, we're over 700. So even though our numbers today, our participants is not quite that number, but we have a lot of folks that watch the recorded version after. Um, but next month, we're going to start including CPE credits. So. That'll be something that will probably increase that number of people that are trying to get those uh, educational points done for their next renewal of their licensing. We're going to have that integrated. Uh, next month, we have our guest host will be uh, Mariette Martinez, who I'm sure all of you are familiar with. And we're also going to have a representative from T-Sheets here. So we, we sincerely hope you make it back next month. Next month, of course, is also... Scaling new heights, so we are pushing forward a week, um, so make sure you check the schedule. Um, but again, we're looking forward to also meeting you at Scaling New Heights. If you are planning to be there, please um, stop by and see us. Uh, I think with the venue changes, we're, we're very close to where QuickBooks is going to be. We're actually going to be right next to the app stage, so um, you'll be able to find us. We'll be in the back corner, but you'll be able to find us because we're in a good spot. Um, so we look forward to meeting any and all of you that are going to be there. Um, otherwise, if you have any other questions about anything you've heard today about QBox, um, please don't hesitate to give us a call. You can find our phone numbers on the homepage of our website under the contact section. Um, you can chat with us. You can send an email to sales or support at coraltreetech.com. And we'd love a chance to uh, talk to you and, and see if QBox might be a fit for your situation you're trying to solve. Um, again, thank you to everyone today. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Misha. Thank you, thank you Brandon. Thank you, Gina. Uh, I think we lost Nancy somewhere. Thank you, TS. Even though I see you every day. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, so thank you to everyone. We really appreciate your time today. Um, thank you for joining us for Desktop Time. We look forward to seeing you next month and in future months to come. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon. Yay. Bye -bye. Thanks, Chris. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all.